In this video, we're going to look at the PolyExtrude tool with curved input inside Houdini. We'll start off by going into the top view, hit Spacebar and 2 key, and click on the Curve tool. Change to NURBS Curve, and draw out the curve. Hit the Enter key to finish, and double click to go inside, and we're going to put down a box. Hit the Tab key and type Box. Click on Display Points, and then hit the V key to toggle on point snapping. We're just going to move it to the end of the curve, scale it down, and let's move the visibility flag on the box. Go back to Perspective View and select the face we want to extrude. Don't need to see the points anymore. Hit the 4 key to get faces, turn off the ortho grid, and we're going to go to the Polygon tab and click on Poly Extrude. Pull out the handle, and there's our extruded face. You can use the HUD sliders to quickly access divisions, distance, and inset. But hey, we made that curve earlier, which we want to use as our extrusion shape, so let's plug that curve in. Middle mouse button over the second input, and you'll see that it says Spine Curve, so let's put it in there. The spine shape is set to straight, so change it to Curve from second input. So our extrusion is a bit ugly because it needs more geometry for better shape. We're going to increase the divisions and tweak a few parameters to make it look the way we want. Just expand the pane. In the Spine Control tab, we have a few parts that will help us with our extruded shape. Tweaking the front and back blends, as well as front and back magnitude, gives you finer control over the extrusion and the curve that's driving it. Use the Thickness Ramp to control the profile shape of the extrusion. Cool, I'm happy with the shape on the single face extrude. I can also apply this extrude to all faces of the box. Just going to clear the group field. Zero is the face that we picked for the extrude. Leaving it empty will extrude all faces once we set divide into individual elements. And there you have the curve driven extrusion applied on all sides of the box. Okay, let's go back to the network view and swap out the box for torus as our geometry input shape. Delete the box and hit tab and type torus and select it. Just going to change the rows and divisions to 8 and 18 respectively, and plug her in. We don't want to have the extrude on all faces of the torus, so switch it back to connected components. So now let's select the faces we want to extrude. Notice that we're still using the same curve and poly extrude nodes put down earlier for the box, so we're still working with the same tweaks we made before just swapping the geometry input with a different object. I think that's pretty handy dandy. Hit Enter key to accept the selection. Enable split group, and we're going to select the boundary edges that will specify the number of and where our extrudes will be. Now we're going to deselect every other ring of edges. Hold down Control and click and drag. Hit Enter key to accept this selection. So now you can see that we have the curve driven extrusions coming from the selections where we kept the edges selected. And now we can adjust the parms till we get a cool shape. I'll be using inset, thickness ramp, front and back blends, axial rotation, and front and back magnitudes and distance. Kind of octopusy. By the way, if we want to change the number of extrusions, you can simply click on the split group arrow and reselect the edges. Same for the actual geometry you want to extrude in the group field. Also for the curve, you can reverse curve direction, but it looks weird here, so we're not using it. Lastly, you can also use front and back stiffness to further alter the look of your extrusion. And that's PolyExtrude with Curve Input in Houdini.